So now that you understand the anchor factor and how important it is to have a process that you can always go back to in case life gets good and in case life gets bad and that gives you that constant stability and also now that you understand that it's all about that process and that anchor that process is what creates success no not deservingness not no such thing as characters you know uh, character traits or entitlement it's, it's literally about the process now we can get in, into the third subject of staying even keeled throughout your life and not making decisions out of inspiration or desperation but only making decisions from a place of even keeled rationality so most people in life uh, don't have the the right traction the right um, mindset to actually make decisions from an even keeled perspective so what they do they wait for a really inspiring thing to happen meaning oh my god you know I'm filled with inspiration I'm so happy and this is so amazing and to do things from there or they wait for desperation meaning that they wait for things to get really really bad until they're forced to make a decision now personally I used to be just like that I used to make decisions uh, only from emotional places of high ups or very very low downs where I had basically no choice but to make uh, that decision so I would usually also give up everything uh, I had before that so I might stop a business completely I might stop what I was doing I might quit a job I might uh, move to another country I'll just make a really really extreme and irrational decision uh, for the sake of um, the inspiration or the desperation nowadays what I do is I simply uh, rationally and very very uh, even keeled way add a new habit that supports my new decision for example I only recently realized that I want to write 50 books before I'm dead at least 50 books so I simply added the habit of writing 10 pages every single day to my list of habits so I took my anchor and I basically added something to my anchor which supports my new idea I did not wait for that to become like huge inspiration like oh my god I have to do this and I'm gonna quit my job and I'm gonna write for eight hours a day and I also uh, did not wait until the urge was so strong and I was so unhappy that I was like I hate my life you know I'm gonna quit everything and just do this from a from a negative place so the reason people use these decisions the the uh, inspiration decisions or desperation decisions is because they don't have an anchor so they don't have a current process which they can actually transform and change that will uh, be able to adapt to their new um, idea or new um, uh, process so so when they want to write a uh, books for example uh, because they have no self-control they have no flow they can direct they actually have to kind of reset the entire system so they don't do it and then they you know they go crazy either crazy manic and happy or crazy uh, low and 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 angry and depressed and it never ends up well and I, I noticed in my life that not a single decision that I made that came out of inspiration or desperation ended up being long-term it's always short-term and it's not even that the decision itself was bad or the the idea is that the fact that you kind of stop everything and start something in new very intensively and expect it to work like that it doesn't work like that in life in life what you want uh, it, it, you need to be urgent about the actions that you take every day but you need to be patient about seeing the results the results usually take some time so um, I became even killed and again that's coming from a guy who's extreme who's bipolar who's again like a maniac uh, I became ex uh, uh, sorry even killed when I first of all learned that it doesn't work to be extreme whenever I'm extreme it's not gonna be sustainable so it doesn't even matter there's no point in starting anything on an emotional whim it, uh, positive or negative because it's not gonna last um, and the second thing is because I found that it's actually more effective to be even killed so everybody the thing is everybody would like to be even killed even the people who are currently 
working for that extreme decision making place if they could they would prefer to be even keeled and rational so the way you do that is by again going back to the earlier two videos uh, first of all is by having that anchor having that process that you do every single day that anchors you no matter what happens and no matter what happens to, to the environment you stay the same and secondly by realizing that if you have the right process you can achieve anything like if I write just 10 pages a day which takes me half an hour an hour I can literally write 3,600 pages a year you know if we ignore the fact that I'll probably rewrite some of it ju just as a sheer amount of pages that's enough to write 10, 10 books by simply adding a small habit or let's say I want to live a more healthier lifestyle let's say I wasn't working out again instead of being like oh my god I'm gonna work out it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be life-changing fuck you yeah, or instead of coming from a desperation place of oh shit I have to work out it's so bad oh my god I have to fucking work out you know both are emotional decisions that are not gonna last I'm just like oh okay I feel like I should work out more so let's just add the habit of maybe working out 10 minutes more every day done <laughs> but again I could not do that if I didn't have the anchor and the process mentality already firmly in place because when you have that anchor you can actually include things you can add it you can change it you have a process that's daily that you can actually modify based on the new uh, needs and situations you can't do that if you don't have a process that's that anchors you so I hope, that, I hope that makes sense. I hope you understand how to become even keeled and stop making decisions that are just whims and will not be long term anyway uh, and actually make rational decisions that will last and will create sustainable long term results in your life. And this uh, leads up to the last video of the Anchor Factor videos. So uh, please go to that. and. Um, if there's any concept that didn't make sense yet, uh, please let me know because I'd love to improve it or not, not as much improve it, but, but expand upon it or, or explain it better um, because it's important that, that it clicks. If it doesn't click, it's not there. I want it to click for you. So either let me know what doesn't click. I'll either help you one-on-one -on -one, or I could send uh, make a better video um, that addresses a certain specific point. On to the next video.